Hi everyone, my name is Jorge Garcia and I'm a technical consultant engineer from Data Center Routing and Switching Team. In this video, we're going to talk about infravillance for Nexus 9K running VPC VXLAN with NXOS operative system. We will discuss the purpose of the command system NV infravillance to ensure the correct forwarding of the traffic flowing through the peer link, encapsulated with a VXLAN header. When the Nexus 9K are configured as VXLAN lift switches in VPC, you must have a backup layer 3 routing adjacency in between them over the VPC peer link with the use of an interface VLAN. This VLAN must be local to the switches, not stretch across the VXLAN fabric, and belong to the default VRF. In order to explain better what is and when to use infra VLANs, we're going to use the following topology. On the screen, you have a VXLAN setup with three lifts, also known as VTIPs. One pair is running on VPC and the other leaf is in a standalone mode. The three Nexus lifts are connected via a spine, which forwards traffic between the VTIPs. Lift 47 and 48 are working in VPC mode with the secondary IP address for Anycast 10.2.1.147. Lift 47 has the primary IP for its NVE interface 10.2.1.47, and Lift 48 has the primary IP address 10.2.1.48. Since Leaf 49 is working in standalone mode, it only has the primary IP address 10.2.1.49. There is one host connected to the list 47 and 48 through the VPC port channel 50. This host has the IP address of 10.150.2.37, and there is also another host connected to the Leaf 49, which has an IP address of 10.150.1.38. The backup VLAN configured on both Nexus on VPC is the VLAN 3600, which is local to the devices on the default VRF and not stretch across the VXLAN file. In the first scenario where infravillance is needed, the link from LIF47 towards the spine goes down. In this scenario, the traffic from the host 10.150.2.37 is hashing to the LIF47, and since the outlet is down, the LIF47 will forward the traffic encapsulated in VXLAN header through the PL link to reach the destination towards the spine. On the LIF47, checking the routing table, the destination IP is reachable through VXLAN. Via a route learned from LIF48, so the VTIP can encapsulate this traffic and send it to the LIF48 through the PL link. Going to the LIF48, the traffic is arriving already encapsulated. And if you check how to reach to the destination IP, it will show that it's also reachable through VXN. Doing an ELAM on LIF48, we'll see a drop reason for LUD showing routing disabled. So the Nexus will drop the traffic. The way to fix this behavior is to enable the infravillain command in both switches. In this scenario, we're using VLAN 3600 as routing between lifts. After configuring it on both switches, now we can see that the ELM capture will not display any drops and ping will be successful. For the second scenario, there is a host 5.5.5.5 that's only reachable through LIF47. The LIF49 will send the traffic to the spine and because of the hashing, it will land on LIF48. This traffic needs to cross the PL link to reach the final destination. On LIF49, we'll see that in order to reach the destination IP address, our next hop is going to be the primary IP of LIF47. When the traffic is being received on LIF47, we can see it's getting dropped with the same drop reason routing disable doing an ELAN capture. Adding the command infra on VLAN 3600 will solve the problem again. For the third scenario, there is a little bit different topology here now. We have added a LIF50 connected to our pair of VTIPs, LIF47 and LIF48 on VPC. Here, the host 10.150.2.37 can send the ICMP request to the LIF50 connected directly, which will encapsulate the traffic and send it to our LIF47 or 48 with a VXLAN header through VLAN 10. In this scenario, both VLANs 10 and 3600 need to be added as infra VLANs. 
So, in summary, the backup VLAN is needed to avoid traffic black hole in case a VPC VTAP loses the uplinks to the spine. This VLAN is used on the VTAP who lost the uplinks to have reachability to the spine over the peer link using the VPC peer where the adjacency to the spine is still up. But to be able to forward correctly the traffic in VXLAN, the addition of infra VLAN to this backup is also needed. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.